Hey everybody, it's Windblaze one here, um, got a new series, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, this is the HD collection version, just put in my name real quick, you know, I had a lot of fun doing Metal Gear Solid 3, and not, oh, really not a whole lot of people have played Peace Walker yet, and a lot of people are still getting this game, so with the HD collection, so I figured this would be a good game to do. You can select your control type. Personally, I go with shooter type. There's the controls on the screen right there. It's shooter type is going to be what most American players are going to be familiar with. Aim with L1, shoot with R1. So yeah, simple enough. Let's get started. So, Wanna here's the required by video gaming law tutorial section. Duh. Take that. Uh, you know, if you already Look know alive, how to play, ladies. the boss is gonna join us. Section, but Show them how it's done, boss. For some people. Your first priority in enemy territory is knowing your surroundings. Your life depends on where you are looking, and how fast you can identify your targets. Therefore, you must first master moving your line of sight. To move your line of sight, use the right stick. Now when I give you an order, look in that direction. Look up. Good. Look down. Good. That was complicated. You should be familiar with the up and down controls now. Press the action button if you're ready to move on. I think I need to practice that more. Nah, I'm good. 
Okay! Next, we'll check your left and right. Look right! Good! Look left! Um... Good! I think I just inverted the... You should the be familiar with the left and right controls now. Y axis Press controls. the action button left if you're right. ready to so, move on. Uh, I think if I just sit here for a moment... He'll ask me to do it again and I can realign the... Uh, Alright, let's try yeah, left and right go. on the right stick one more time! Look right! Good! Look left! Good! Okay. You should be familiar with the left and right controls now! Press the action button if you're ready to move on! Oh yeah, I got this. Okay! I'm the best. You can change the controls anytime in options. Go with the method that works best for you. Next, I'll explain how to change stances. If you just stand there like an idiot in front of an enemy, you might as well kill yourself now! At oh, times, you will need nice. to get low to avoid detection. You have three stances. Stand, crouch, and lying down. To Tell change to stances, use the crouch button. Tap the crouch button to change between standing and crouching. You can move in either stance. Hold the crouch button and keep it held to lie down. However, you cannot move while you are lying down. I'll say that again. You cannot move while lying down. Is that clear? There we go. Crouching. I'm the best at crouching. Oh yeah. Good. And what he's saying, keep Next it held. We'll work and on your snake will go prone. Use the left stick to move around. Tilt it a little to walk slowly. Tilt farther to run. Decide which to use based on your situation. Remember that your footsteps are louder when running, making you easier to discover. Be careful! Movement! Yay! I already had this figured out, but... Now we have rolling! Yeah. Rolling is useful for knocking down enemies in your way, and for getting away when surrounded. You can also use it to jump over small ditches and other obstacles. To roll, tap the crouch button while running. You got that? Tap the crouch button while running! Don't forget it! But I'm gonna roll into this guy a few times. And he's not knocked down by it. Normally an enemy, well, sometimes an enemy is knocked down when you roll. That's it! Him. Next, I will explain how to attack without gunfire. You may run into an enemy unexpectedly. You may not have a weapon on you. Or you may be out of ammo. You'll still need an effective attack strategy. One well-placed strike and the enemy won't know what hit him. To strike an enemy, press the attack button while standing still. On my command, press the attack button repeatedly and take down your opponent. Go. I'm ready, boss. Uh. Oh, whoops. That is incorrect, boss! Oh, I'm sorry, is Mr. Random Soldier doubting me, Big Boss? If I say Press it's correct, it's correct. Moving, boss. That is incorrect, oh, boss! There, that's what I have to do. Not that either. Do. Okay, there we go. Fine work, boss! Next, we're gonna practice using the stun rod. Hitting someone with the stun rod will shock them with a million and a half volts. Anyone oh, really? on the receiving end of that is I, guaranteed I to that. be out cold. Oh, okay. To use the stun rod, press the aim button to ready it, then press the attack button. You'll be glad to know we're using mock stun rods for this training session. When your partner attacks, make him believe it's the real deal. Yeah, Prepare I guess yourself that for might stun rod suck training. I don't know. Go! I'm that is incorrect, boss! boss. Dude. Impressive, boss. Now we'll oh, move yeah. on to I'm CQC. so good. I shock somebody CQC, with a fake stun or rod. close quarters combat refers to when engaging an enemy in battle at very close range. It is a quick and efficient way of eliminating a threat. There are various CQC techniques. We will go over each of them. Don't get cocky because you think you know them. This will be different from what you're used to. Pretend you are learning it for the first time. The first technique is throwing your opponent. To do this, position yourself near your opponent and press the attack button while you tilt the left stick. Be sure to press the attack button when the icon appears. Now, wait for my command and throw your opponent. Go! I'm ready, boss. Uh, that is incorrect! 
Oh, boss. right. Okay. Regular throw, not throw a whole thing. Alright. There we go. Fine work, boss! Next, I'm going to teach you how to restrain an opponent close to you. This is a cornerstone of CQC. Grab hold of an enemy, and the bastard's life is in your hands. What you do from there is up to you. Just know that if you restrain him for too long, the average person will most likely pass out. Something to keep in mind. Let's begin. To restrain your opponent, hold down the attack button while near them. Restrain your opponent on my command. Go! I'm ready, boss. You hold them like that, boss. and then if you now we will throw your opponent harder, after restraining uh, them. To throw an enemy to the ground, press a direction on the left stick when you have them restrained. Restrain your opponent and throw them on my. Go! Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm ready, boss. <laughs> Uh, this is just a much stronger throw. Does more damage. Fine work, boss! Now we will try CQC against multiple enemy opponents. You can also take out a group of enemies by throwing an opponent you have restrained. First, restrain an opponent by pressing the attack button near them. Then, tilt the left stick to throw them. By tilting the left stick toward other enemies, you can send your captive flying straight into them. On my command, restrain and then throw your opponent. Go! I'm ready, boss. Okay. <laughs> nice. A decent hit. Fantastic! Again! Go! I'm ready, boss. <laughs> Fantastic! All right! Why don't we do something special since the boss is here? Anyone who feels like getting their ass kicked, step forward. Don't hold back, boss. When you're surrounded by multiple enemies, you'll have to take them on one after the other. To do it, simply press the attack button again while throwing the current enemy. Just be sure to wait for the icon to appear. Go! I'm ready, boss. So yeah, you can wait for the icon to appear in the controls, or you can just keep tapping here on one button and obviously you hit it as soon as it comes up. Fantastic! Again! Go! Kick that guy in the face while he's down. Boom. Okay, there we go. Fine work, boss! And stop! That's it for today. Thank you, boss. Uh, snake. What's going on, Kaz? We've got guests. Time to move. Don't worry, it's not our friends from Langley. I brought him, made sure we won't follow. Thank you, Big Boss. Call me Snake. Oh, uh, sorry, Big Boss. Listen up. For us, there is no victory. But in revolution, doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. Feel like a new man. There's no coffee like Costa Rican coffee. So, 
What brings a distinguished scholar from the Costa Rican government to Colombia? Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's University for Peace. You see, over the past year, there have been sightings of an armed group in Costa Rica. They're not ours, of course. Costa Rica doesn't have an army. Correct. Article 12 of our Constitution states that the army as a permanent institution is abolished. The Peace Constitution. You think it's rebels who fled Nicaragua? No, no, they don't appear to be guerrillas. They're far too organized. What's your government's take? The authorities in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm, hired by the Development Corporation of Costa Rica. Lies, obviously. They're bringing in state-of-the-art weaponry and equipment by the shipload. Where'd they get that kind of cash? I fear La Cia may be involved. The CIA. As you both know, the United States views Central America as its backyard. Even after Cuba, we've managed to maintain a delicate balance with the U.S. And your government can't just give them the boot. We are not allowed to bear arms. Japan's constitution has something similar. Article 9. It says Japan renounces war and can't maintain an army. I understand that you and your men have neither state nor ideology. That you will fight any foe. Please, you must drive them out of our defenseless country. We come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Yes, as our deterrent. We can't afford to pay much, it's true. But, we can offer you this. A forward operating base. An offshore plant in the Caribbean. Sounds pretty good to me. This place is becoming a mess anyway. Snake, we need some place we can settle down. The government's agreed to cooperate. Unofficially, of course. A chopper for transport would be nice too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it. You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? Yes, that's what I've heard. You're an army without a state. No, we've only left our countries behind. Please, you must help us. If your suspicions are true, force isn't going to do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. Tell them if they want, I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. No. I'm not here on their behalf. So, what are you doing here? For over 20 years, I've preached the virtues of peace at multiple universities. Tonight, I stand before you as an educator. <laughs> this is my student. She came to me to study peace. Her name is Paz. Paz Ortega. Paz. Peace. No kidding. That's my name too. Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. Pleased to meet you, Paz. Call me... Kaz. Uh... They've got a supply port north of Puerto Limon. A town in La Costa del Mar Caribe. A few days ago, Paz stumbled upon that facility while searching for a lost friend. She was captured. She's only a child. Sixteen years old. They did terrible things to her. But somehow she managed to escape. Oh. My God. She's Huifana. Her mother died when she was small. And she lost her grandparents in the Civil War. She hates war with a passion like no other. My name is Paz, and I will do anything to protect my namesake. 
It is my one and only purpose. Please, get them out of my country. Make them leave Costa Rica. Sorry, kid. We know who you are, big boss. That is why we've come to you.